Metropoles or Micropole. In our project, we wanted to examine how communities and businesses across rural Europe were using new technologies to ensure their future social and economic prosperity through the development of smart work centres. In the early 20th century, communications through telephones, telegraph and new transport networks were helping to connect rural Europe to its urban core. Now we need to see how these structures, combined with high-speed broadband and new smart work practices and technologies, can help rural Europe link to the global economy and make sure it plays its full role in the new digital age. Welcome to Lorne. I'll be speaking to you about the Niverne Morvan Smart Work Centre, which for a number of years now has hosted several smart workers who have settled in the Morvan area because they have the opportunity to do distance work in specially developed workspaces. They are able to take advantage of a high speed broadband connection and technical support provided by the Mission Numérique or Digital Hub NGO, which brings together a group of dedicated professionals who are focused on developing digital services for rural areas. Pollon, a smart work centre, is a great means to bring in new inhabitants to enhance the local economy. They bring in their families, they help local shops and services and above all schools to prosper and thrive. At the moment we provide office services, free access to computers, help for the unemployed in job seeking, programs targeting use, and IT courses as well. In my opinion, adding distance work to our services would provide further opportunities in the future. The Micropol project was a really useful project uh, for, uh, for us as a regional development agency because it uh, helps us uh, to find uh, new perspectives, new ideas. <laughs> What can you tell us about the Smart Work Centre in Kufar? It's more than 100 years old. Uh, it used to be a, logis a, tra a traditional logistic hub uh, where also German companies were a stone's throw away from the border in Germany. Uh, companies from connecting Germany and the Netherlands uh, were combined here in this building. Uh, so it's an ideal and traditionally suited place for creating the new uh, connectivity uh, in Kufar uh, using the Smart Work Centre. What we've created here is the right environment. I think that's always difficult to do, but it's quite clear that organisations, businesses, individuals, the community like being in the building. The first one for me was having a dedicated office space somewhere local to where I live. Um, I'm used to commuting quite a distance to work. I've done it for a long, long time and I really wanted to kind of branch out by myself. But I wanted the network behind me, the, some sort of infrastructure and support behind me. And I think the reason I chose the Chibi Centre was because it was local, it's fantastic facilities and the team here have been really, really supportive. There's been a lot of help. Um, I come in and it's that buzz of working in an environment where there's lots of other businesses and lots of other people which kind of gives me that motivation as well rather than being working from home. I think the interaction between the customers is, is essential. Uh, there seems to be a lot of cross fertilisation if you like of, of, of ideas and business. The, the mix of business and community is something that we had doubts about I suppose for no reason at all really because it works, it does work. <laughs> Uh, 
What we are aiming for is to offer these smart workers the opportunity to become established in our region with a work environment that is suitable for their needs and aspirations. It is vital to anticipate their changing needs, to allow us to provide the support and services they need to settle down in rural areas. What struck me when I arrived is there is a real willingness by the local government and people to welcome us, look after and care for our needs, to make sure we want to stay here and make our, this place our home. It is very important to Brunnerslev to have a pending house to offer to our citizens. It means that you can have a job in Copenhagen without having to move from Brunnerslev. We live in a part of Denmark where we struggle to keep our companies alive. People move to bigger cities and to keep them all from moving, we have to be innovative. I work a long way from my main office, so this commute house is a very optimal solution for me. I don't have to drive a long way, a few hours each way for, to the main office each day. So. Uh, to be able to come here and have uh, colleagues uh, every day instead of uh, sitting at home and working is very good for me. I would uh, had to have to use a lot of time each day in, if this wasn't a solution for me. <laughs> The culture that's, that's sustained in here is that one of, of self-help and that of helping others. So we provide opportunities throughout the year where we can come together and network. So one of the key factors here was to try and attract a level of business that would create better paid jobs. One of the key factors that we've got here is excellent communications. We're on, we're on the main A1 uh, route between Edinburgh and Newcastle. We're on the main East Coast railway line, we're three and a half hours away from the centre of London, and we also benefit from super fast broadband here as well. Inside the, the incubator that we have here is we have an opportunity to only focus on our business and interface with the other businesses that are going through very similar problems with differing solutions. And we can share those experiences with each other that gives us uh, a strength that we otherwise wouldn't have.